the first question that arises in our mind that what is motion? How do we define it? Let's understand it with examples. You come across lots of things in our daily life. Some of them are in motion and some of them are stationary. Say a home is stationary. A tree is also stationary. Similarly, towers, schools, electric poles, hospitals, factories are all stationary. Can you list some more stationary objects? On the other hand, we have moving buses, trains, flying aeroplanes, birds, moving ships, fishes, which are in motion. A man is stationary when he is standing, while the same man is in motion when he is walking or running. Similarly, an animal is stationary when he is sitting under a tree, and the same animal is in motion while hunting. So, now let's define motion. Any object which changes its position with time is in motion. Now, how do we define position? How do we know that an object has changed its position, say position 1 to position 2? For that, we require an stationary or fixed object with reference to which we can define the position of an object. Let's understand with an example. Say a dog was initially 2 meter away from a home. After some time, the distance becomes 5 meter. So here, we can say that because the position of dog initially 2 meter away, say position 1, is changing with time to second position which is 5 meter away. So the object, the dog, is in motion. Here we have taken the reference of a house to define the position of the dog. So the stationary or fixed home with reference to which the position of an object is defined is known as reference point. Now we have defined motion. In order to study motion, we need to understand two terms. First, distance and second, displacement. Let's first define them by taking two positions, say position 1 and position 2. Displacement is the shortest length between two positions. In a straight line, I mean, of course, if it is shortest, it has to be in a straight line while the distance is the actual length traveled by an object to reach from position 1 to position 2. Since it is the actual length, therefore it may or may not be in a straight line. Let's take an example for better understanding. Let's say you live in a town A and you have two friends say friend 1 and friend 2 who live in town B and town C respectively. Now you want to meet your friends. So you decided to visit friend 1 first as he lives nearer and then to friend 2. Now, when you reach to town B from town A, the actual length you travel is AB. So, your distance is AB. What about displacement? The shortest straight line length between town A and town B. Well, it is same as AB. So, in this case, our distance 
and displacement are equal. Now you moved to town C. The actual length you travelled to reach town C from town A is AB plus BC. So your distance is AB plus BC. What about displacement? Will it be same in this case? Well not. As the shortest and straight line length between A and C is AC. So your displacement is AC which is not equal to AB plus BC. So in this case your distance and displacement are not equal. Now let's say you come back to your home at town A. What is your distance which is actual length you travel? It is AB plus BC plus CA. What about displacement? The shortest straight line length between A and A. Well, it's zero. This gives us an interesting property of the displacement that if you travel in a closed path or in other words, if your initial and final position are same, then your displacement will always be zero. Another interesting property of the displacement is that it has direction along with magnitude. Any quantity which has direction along with magnitude is known as vector. So we can say that displacement is a vector quantity while the distance has only magnitude and no direction. Any quantity which has magnitude and no direction is known as scalar. Therefore, we can say that distance is a scalar quantity. Let's go back to our previous example to understand it better. When you reach town B from town A, your distance was AB, which is its magnitude and displacement is AB in east direction. It means that its magnitude is AB and direction is towards east. Now when you reach to town C, your distance is AB plus BC which is the magnitude of the distance while the displacement is AC towards northeast. It means magnitude AC and direction northeast. And when you finally come back to your home, your distance is AB plus BC plus CA. Again, it is the magnitude of the distance and displacement is 0, which is a null vector. It means its magnitude is 0 and direction not defined. I hope it's clear by now. So here is a small exercise for you. Let's say a man is moving in a circular path of radius 5 meter. He moves from position 1 to position 2 where position 1, 2 is the diameter of the circle. You need, you need to tell me in the comment box the distance and displacement of the man when he moved from position 1 to position 2. Okay, if you want the solution of this problem and notes of this lecture, you can visit my website as physicswithshubham.co.in. The link is also provided in the description. Go to document section. Here you will get lecture notes of all the videos. Then go to video section. Here you will find a small quiz based on every video lecture. Do participate in the quiz to check your understanding. And let others know your score by commenting in the comment section. Here you will get all my videos. If you prefer Hindi, same content is available in Hindi also. In fact, I am also trying to design some animated games related to the topic. 
let me know if you have any suggestions or idea about games in your mind and the very important thing in case you still have doubts you can contact me directly or rather stay in touch with me by sign up here this time i will also announce the name of the first candidate who will score 10 in the quiz but make sure you are log in there okay then we will continue from here in the next video bye and take care